welcome back to another sims news video let's dive into the events that have been going on recently surrounding the new expansion pack on today's sims news trouble in the sims community after the release of the growing together pack gameplay trailer sim gurus leak expansion pack features on twitter sims 4 pc players blame low quality on console players and the sims leaks some features coming with the pack Firstly, I'm going to give my views. I will agree with the Sims community when they say the trailer was a bit empty for an expansion pack. It basically only talked about the family dynamic part of the pack and gave vague ideas of the pack's features, which caused some turmoil in the community as always. More on that later. What I do want to talk about is the family dynamics aspect of the pack in context. It is a really great idea, but the question is how well is it going to be implemented? Sims in The Sims 4 are known to be very lifeless, very empty, and basically have no personality. They have personality traits which are very generic and most times only give them buffs in certain situations. And even then, we have very little traits. So forgive me if I think that the family dynamic feature is just going to be as empty. According to the gameplay trailer, you can edit relationship between family members on a deeper scale. And I just have my fears that just like the personality traits, these family dynamics won't have much impact than on a surface level. Basically, when I think about it, I imagine a guy having like a tense moodlet when a certain family member is around, or getting a happy buff when a close relative is around, and nothing more. The trailer also showed us the social compatibility feature. Basically, it showed us that sims with similar interests have a closer relationship and are able to relate more than a pair with like different interests which by the looks of it it is just the likes and dislikes system this could go both ways if implemented properly this could change family gameplay as we know it creating family drama like sibling rivalry and basically bring life to our sims if this pack goes right we could basically have ourselves sims 3 generations 2.0 on the other hand this pack that has created so much anticipation over the past few months won't meet the expectations of the sims community and we will basically have ourselves a parent for the 2.0 as some in the sims community have already started calling them and we do not want that so all we can do is wait and hope that this pack pulls through after the release of the gameplay trailer the reactions from the sims community have not been too peachy the community basically complained about how vague the trailer was concentrating only on displaying the family dynamic features Sims YouTuber and Twitter user Simeon tweeted, I feel like the Sim Guru is holding back on the gameplay trailer on what's to come in the pack and stating that there is so much more in the live stream only puts a lot of pressure on their end to deliver what we are all expecting more. And this is what Sim Guru Nova had to say about the matter. They tweeted, The trailer did prominently feature family dynamics, milestones, and social compatibility, but there is so much more in the pack. There was also a few features nestled in there that y'all might not have picked up on initially. It's kind of hard to capture it in a two minutes video, live stream soon. Now, I do understand both parties, The Sims couldn't possibly fit all the features of an expansion pack in a two minute trailer. Personally, I love not getting too much information about a pack. It means I can kind of like explore the features on my own and everything is kind of really new and exciting. But giving us this little taste of such a pack and promising so much more pushes our hopes up really high, which the Sims Guru did say that they intend to build anticipation. But are they making a mistake? Raising expectations of players without meeting those expectations could be really rough. For example, High School Years had a lot of hype about it and don't get me wrong, it was a great pack but I bet we can all agree that it could have been better and let's not even start on my wedding stories. <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face because it was not what was promised at all. It was basically a laggy and broke, basically a broken mess. B, I did not see on the sheet. If 2 plus 2 was 4, right? And 5 plus 5 is 10, okay. What the fuck is this? Now, the Sims Gurus have been popping off on Twitter, giving us little leaks on the pack's features. And honestly, these leaks have gotten me more excited for the pack than the trailer. Let's go over some of the leaks. The Sim Gurus have shared a bunch of screenshots of the new world, San Sequoia, which is really pretty, but it has some Simmers talking. Simmers have complained about how the Sims have been sticking to an American suburban theme with the recent packs. And a lot of Simmers compared the new world with Willow Creek, saying they look really similar. Basically, we're just asking for a little bit of diversity in this game. We just need a bunch of like different looking worlds and not having like very much similar looking worlds, if you get what I mean. Sim Guru Morgan also revealed that the new world will be coming with 12 playable lots and 3 neighborhoods, each one having 4 lots. And this caused a bit of division between PC and console players. More on that later. 
Sim Guru Ninja teased about a Pi Menu reorganization. They tweeted, I'm actually low key excited for the Pi Menu reorg coming with the update. There have been no pictures, so we will just have to wait and see. Sim Guru Morgan also hinted a child skill revamp. They tweeted, The way child skill works hasn't always been my preference, so I have a mod for that. We did rework that in the base game for growing together though. It's different from the mod I use, but cooler in my opinion. I can't wait to remove the mod and play the updated way when it goes live. This I'm really excited about because we all know how boring it is to play with child sims. They literally have four possible aspirations and they only get one trait and there's literally not much they can do. So I'm really pumped up for these new features. Now recently there has been a bit of division between the Sims 4 PC players and the console players. Get yourself a drink, cause you know, the tea is hot. We all know that The Sims 3 was a really bulky game with its open world feature, which a bunch of Simmers miss, including myself. But with The Sims 4, the Sims team have been trying to allow players on low-end devices to play the game more comfortably, including console players, hence why some lots have empty looking builds, and also why the open world feature was removed. Sim Guru Morgan tweeted, 12 playable lots. Each neighborhood has four lots. We always determine how many is best for each pack for performance. People with min spec PCs need to play too. It's always a series of thoughtful and carefully considered conversations. Someone who has played The Sims on console and low end PC, I mean, the PC I use right now still has a hard time running the game. It's really nice for simmers with low spec devices to be considered in situations like this so i really don't get why pc players have been coming for console players because i feel like a world having less lots it really doesn't have that much disadvantage obviously we would love more lots we would love more playable lots but it doesn't really take anything from like our gameplay and stuff like that it really has very minimal disadvantages so i think they should really be considerate for people who have min spec who also love to enjoy the sims games lastly on today's sims news segment the sims official account has also been doing a few leaks here and there replying to sim guru's nova tweet about the complaints on the trailer the sims official account tweeted like an in-laws temporary stay which is a feature that was teased in the trailer and really strikes intrigue in simmers and i am personally really excited for this like g fucking g bestie if you can implement that well then the pack is worth its money. I'm just saying. On top of that, The Sims also revealed that with the expansion packs released on the 14th of March, the base game will also be receiving an update with birthmarks, stretch marks, and cesarean scars. And I think I speak for The Sims community when I say that The Sims has been dropping a lot of good stuff lately. And I just really hope that the Growing Together pack follows the trend. The Growing Together expansion pack is going to be releasing on the 16th of March and the Infants base game drop is going to be releasing on the 14th of March. You can now pre-order the expansion pack on the EA app or Origin if that still works. But I have some sad news babes because unfortunately I don't think I'm going to be available during the release of either the Infants or the expansion pack. I will be leaving for school. And it just has me really bummed out because like I'm making Sims news videos and like looking at like sims leaks and i'm not going to be able to experience that until later this year when i'm back which is really sad i really hate that for myself really really do hate that and that is all i have for you today i'm really excited for the stream and i look at my calendar every now and then hoping it's the third of march i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe before you go i really appreciate that and while you're in there clicking more, consider following my socials on screen or in the description and i will see you guys in the next video good damn bye